Later today, Ric Flair will be going, as many people say, for the final time for the world heavyweight title. For a man who's won it five times, Rick, how does this extra pressure affect you? Well, what it tells me, Lance Russell, is today, woo, I've got the style and profile like never before. Steamboat, let me go on record as telling the whole world you are the greatest wrestler on the face of this earth but pal today right here you gotta beat rick flair one more time remember steamboat and pal i'll kiss your boots if you can do it but to be the man you gotta beat the man and i'm saying woo right here in nashville tennessee pal i'm the man Ric Flair and Steamboat, you're gonna be mine! Woo! We had, we had, they watched a whole lot of superstars on this stage here tonight. But I want y'all to know one thing: this is my house. And when I say who's a road attack skills and vocabulary too, I've been hitting the distance. It's all brand new, you're through I'm interplanetary and like Doctor Who So who? Fuck your beef, no relief I step on stage, girl scream like I'm Keith We're doing it again, we're here Kind of a day early Ringtime Pro Wrestling Makes it back for WWE Payback Revenge is a mother Payback is a, well that's what they say Keisha, say hi to the people Hello everybody uh, what's going on? Hey, I don't know how many other ways to say it, you know. It's the same thing. This didn't work. So, what up, though? <laughs> there we go. This that week, we're coming to hit you hard. Talking about that wrestling. It's ringtime pro wrestling. Uh, you can find us a lot of ways. I'll do the rundown a little later. Uh, today, we are brought to you by Audible.com. Go to www.audibletrial slash ringtime pro wrestling. Get your free audiobook download. You got a 30 day free trial. Check it out. You know, I would even go to the Audible site. You get to preview the books for like 10 minutes to see if you can dig it before you even waste your free download. Check it out. Listen to a book. Read your bossy pants. Uh, read you the Dusty Rose uh, autobiography. Get some lean in from Cheryl Sandberg. Because everybody's supposed to be leaning in right now. Uh, the NBA Finals is a zone. Get you a book about basketball. Whatever you want. www.audibletrial.com slash ringtime pro wrestling. Get your 30 day free trial on us. Get your free download. Check it out. Also, if you'd like to support the show, uh, you can click the Amazon link. Before you go to Amazon.com, go to ringtime pro wrestling. Click on Amazon.com. Click one of the banners. When you read one of the articles, click one of the banners there. It'll take you to Amazon. Whatever you was going to buy on Amazon, you can still buy it. It don't cost you no extra money. It really ain't cost you nothing. You're just buying what you was going to buy, but you just kind of help the show. So, there's a way to do that. Um, other than that, let's get into this wrestling. Keish, interesting Yo. week. A lot going on. Um, NXT was going down tonight. Um, if you was in Philly, you might be at the Best of Both Worlds show with ROH in New Japan. Right. Ten- tonight, Keisha the Briscoes are taking on Okada and Nakamura in tag team action. And it's in Philly. Yeah. You know the roof is going to blow off. Of course. You know the roof is going to blow off. Right? So, um, I'm not even watching it tonight. Too much going on. The Hawks right. game going on. I had to leave that alone. I, I can't even deal with basketball till Friday. Um, <laughs> okay. I just watched the season finale of Arrow. Gonna have to watch it again. I I don't even know what to do with that. Mine's blown there, right? Right. NXT was on tonight. Mine was, you know, couldn't, couldn't really focus on that. So, you know what I mean? I'll watch that. And, hey, we'll check it out because... Next week, we'll be previewing the NXT, the NXT TakeOver pay-per-view. So, that will be on the calendar sometime. So, a lot going on. WWE apparently has decided to flood the calendar themselves. So, let's talk about it. Keeps we open up Raw. 
The authority is in full effect in the ring. Right. Triple H is there. I don't know if they're trying to soften Triple H since tough enough, but it seems like he's taking a more middle of the road approach. Or he's still concerned with keeping the title with the authority, but he's still kind of straddling the fence there. Right. Like he almost knocked out Seth Rollins. Like, he really did. At some point. So I think he's really straddling that fence. And I think he wants to have a softer approach with his character. Now that he's doing a little bit more ambassador thing. I mean, he's Steph. I know she's off doing the Eisenhower Fellowship thing. I right. think Triple H, as long as he's trying to be an exec in real life, I think he's trying to soften that on character image just a teeny bit. But how do you feel about the Kane portion of this angle with Seth Rollins and the rest of everything else that's going on? It's starting to become a little weird to me. Because here's what I, I'll say. I think he's elevated Kane, but I don't know what it's doing for anybody else. Exactly. Like, that's why I think it's weird because it's like, why? It's push. It's, I feel like it's pushing him, but it's kind of putting everybody else, like, somewhere in the background, almost. There, there's really. I don't see the reason for it. I don't. Like, I'm honestly trying to figure out, like, what exactly are they doing with this entire situation? Because it's, I'm guessing the focus is supposed to be somewhere more or so on Seth as opposed to Kane, but that's not the case. And his whole play in this entire angle, it, it really just doesn't make sense to me. You know, I don't, I don't really get it too much. And it's weird because it's like, well, what do we take from it? You know, how am I supposed to react to this huge focus on Kane and how he's acting in this entire situation? That's what I want to know. Here's the thing. Right now, I'm just, I don't know. I, I'm if, you, if you push Kane out of the authority, right, there's nowhere really for him to go. And there's no real feud for him to have unless he's going to feud with Rollins. But then that kind of cuts in front of Ambrose, Orton, Reigns. Unless we're just trying to figure out we can stack as many rogues as we can in front of Rollins. Right. And then see how he lasts. Because he's constantly going to be on that hamster wheel. And we know J&J security is not enough to protect him. Um, I think Kane is going to play the, the tormented authority figure. That's got to deal with this little pup for a little while longer. I think that's what happens. Now, I do think in the spirit of the event payback, we have a very, very interesting dynamic, right? Right. I have the champion who has the belt. We call it payback. Everybody there wants payback on him. Orton wants payback for, you know, taking him out a few months ago. Roman and Dean... Hey, man, we still got S.H.I.E.L.D. issues going on, right? They have never been resolved. Resolved. So, that's payback. Plus, everybody wants to be champ. Kane's tired of his shit, so there's a payback element there. Will he protect Rollins? Will he make sure those guys don't? I think, but we'll get to that because we got, we'll break down the pay-per-view, right? Right. So, that's going to happen. Um, I'm going to tell you one guy who's really shining in all this, too. A guy I thought they were almost forgot about, and I thought they almost kind of cast out a little bit after, you know, the whole IC title thing didn't quite go his way and stuff like that, is Dean Ambrose. Yeah, that's true. I, I thought they lost him. You know what I mean? I, I really did. They added him to the main event, and the last two weeks, he's been the last man standing in the ring. Which is a huge level of foreshadowing, but at the same time, you know, they love tricking us like that, so. Well, I a never. Lot of just, it just like, oh, could he? Could he? Could he? And of course, it leaves a, a good, big question of what if. So. That's well, I how. think he's the furthest one away from it, so they have to give him the rub of it's possible for him to. Right. See, Roman got the rub because. He could have beaten Brock Lesnar. He didn't, but he could have. Randy has the rub because he's a 12-time champ. 
Right. Dean is the one left to prove himself. Dean is the lunatic fringe that's unstable, uh, unbalanced, that we don't know what's going on. Right? Right. Um, J&J got a little punishment. That was good. Um, there's this weird four-way thing going on between Ray, Wade and Neville and Seamus and Dolph. Really, those are the two essential conflicts. Wade Barrett versus Neville and then Dolph Ziggler versus Sheamus. But somehow they all four get tied in together and they all end up matching and wrestling in different combinations. Right. But they haven't put a resolve to anything for it. Now, we got news Monday because Daniel came down to ring. He's going to be out for a while. He even teased the idea he may never come back. Right. Which is very plausible, right? Right. Uh, he's a vegan guy, natural living. I think he might be kind of not ready to do the whole Western medicine thing to do what he got to do to get back. I think that was part of the issue with the original broken neck. He was trying to lead more of an alternative view of how to get this thing done. So I don't know if that's going to cost him. Right. Uh, one thing everybody had advised him to do, he didn't do, was to adjust the ring style tone it down a little bit, maybe make some tweaks here and there, but to give him some more life on his body. And you gotta listen to that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I, I don't know. Maybe these four were gonna be number one contenders or fighting or something, but now it's just kind of, I don't know. And then with Barrett being king of the ring, it doesn't really help either because the more losses he take, you know, the more the turners for shame that the idea becomes. Right. It, uh, I don't know. Does it help? Like, I don't know what it does for him. So, because I support Barry being King of the Ring. I just don't understand it some, somewhat. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, you know, part of it, some people just have it made that stand. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, I guess that's was, just how it's supposed to be. I I thought maybe it would be a little bit better taken care of, but not so much right now. Right. Um. Yes, yeah, said Um. Harper and Rowan have reunited. Parts of the Wild Fit Wyatt family come back together, and I yeah. think this is great. I think it's great for both of them. Because Keith, they was both language in, in the singles world, right? Right. You just couldn't find nothing for them. They were just big, lucky dudes that you couldn't find nothing for. Well, I know that Eric was kind of getting jobbed out a little bit. Like, it was, it was really awful. Um, Harper had a little bit more success, but in singles competition, yeah, they both were kind of lagging behind, if you want me to... Uh, like they were both kind of lagging behind, so I just didn't really support that too much. Like it was, it was a good test run, but now we've seen what really going. So I think that that them being back together is is a good thing for the both of them. I personally support that they that they have made that decision. I hate the way that they decided to do Eric's heel turn. Like that was just kind of awful, but. At the same time, hey, whatever gets the job done. So I'm with it. Like I, I, I think I, I personally think they look good together. You know, as a tag team, yeah. I'm personally supportive. I'm 100 percent supportive of all of it. Right. So yeah, I'm glad to see them back together. Now I'm ready to see them in tag team competition, of course, and I'm pretty sure. Sooner or later, they're going to be going after uh, the rest of tag team divisions and titles and all that kind of stuff. No. Um, I'll tell you, interesting tag team that for Monday was the reform of the Mega Powers. Uh, Sand, Macho Man Sandow and Axel Mania. Yeah. About that, <laughs> a little weird, you know what I mean? A little weird, but hey, I was like, What? Who decided this? I went in again. Yeah, it's not Damien, man. Damien, like, you can't really 
You can't really be mad at it. It's hilarious to me. I think it's wonderfully. I think it has a lot of hilarity. It it does. It, it does because who ever thought that they would have Sandow come out there looking like that, being actual mania, them two together. Like, are you kidding me? But it works. I I'm sorry. I think it works. I think it's hilarious. So. Let's see how good uh, they do together. I mean, here's the thing. Gary's never lasts long, but they, they got a shot. Uh, they take it on the extension at the pay-per-view, so we'll see how that works out. Um, so Neville accepted the open challenge for Cena this week. Man. I didn't think anything could rival the Sami Zayn. Now, I still think the Sami Zayn match was better. They had more pure emotion. Right. But, whew... Neville brought it. He did. I think they're going to have to do more of that for, for Neville. But right. It was a good match. Yeah. It was a great match, actually. I no, it was, no, I agree. I thought it was um, great. Neville hit that 450 and Rusev didn't break it up. We might have a new champ. Oh, right. Exactly. Um, I was waiting on it. I think the open challenge is one of the best things going in wrestling. First of all, it gives an older wrestler a fresher appeal. He's getting fresher right. opponents and people he never would normally wrestle on a normal occasion. Uh, some of them are taking him to school. Some are not. But I think it's good for him to have that experience. You know, yeah. Same thing goes with, you know, anybody else. Right. Um, well, you know, I, this whole thing has always been be a defending champion. Yeah. yeah. Here's the thing. What what are these open challenges he's gonna lose? But that we just I just want to make sure it's the right person. Right, exactly. Yeah, I, oh my God, Jesus! Please don't let it be the wrong person, because then it just defeats the entire purpose of the open challenge. You know, it, it takes away from all of that. Because this has been all this a week in and week out. This has been a great asset to Raw um, and Cena. And the and title because now it gives clearly you, highlight of the show, right? Very clearly exactly. the highlight of the show. People love the open challenge. They love seeing who's going to come out next and who and if they could possibly take this title with them. That to me and itself, Barrett gave him a good match. Um, Dean Ambrose gave him a hell of a match. Right. All that. Jimmy Zane might be that. That might be the match of the week. Um, and then you know, follow up with Neville. He, I mean, he's getting good dance partners, and I think it's right. also showing them that those guys could work outside of you know, just little territory stuff like that. Because, um, right? Hey, man, we about to expose to the big time, and they're going to be a front national audience. So I think everybody needs to get that. So I think we, we might be good. Um. Right. I just don't. I can't wait to see what else this brings for the rest of them. So it's it's I don't know. I guess it's yeah. Just, it's it's something that will give everybody the exposure that they need. I mean, I'm gonna tell you a short answer. God willing, my idea would be Kevin Owens. Right. That's where he would go to America. But they may think it's too soon. He may not have his time down there in NXT enough. Uh, but hopefully some, you know, body in the WWF management panics. See this kid who's selling a lot of merch. They feel like they got to get him up quick. And then we can make it move, right? So, I mean, largely that's how it's been founded. So, you know, we can go that route. Right. Um, Keisha, I'm going to tell you another announcement that I got. Apparently, we're going to have Elimination Chamber this month on the 31st. Yeah, but is it going to be a full pay-per-view, or are we just going to have, like, a couple of matches, and that's it? Like, are we... Payback is barely a full pay-per-view. At oh, Monday's yeah. press time, they only had two matches set. By the end of Raw, I think we, we got up to five. I don't know who all crazy on that day. You know what I mean? Right. 
So I don't know. I can't say yeah. I don't know if I'm with it or not. To tell the truth, I could say I am, but I don't know. I'm not completely sure about that. I will right. watch though. I will watch, but I don't know if I'm really too thrilled with the idea of Elimination Chamber and Payback being in the same month. I mean, I understand the concept of, oh, you want to make sure that you keep these subscribers and that people stay past January 1st and everything like that. But it's like, at what expense? You know, at what expense are you really doing this for? Because, to tell the truth, I don't really see the point. <laughs> I don't, but other than, the, other than the business, it's like, is it really going to help? I mean, it's kind of funny because the explanation early on was logistically that the the elimination chamber didn't work because it was too much coming down and it was too much steel and too much stuff involved. Right. But now, apparently, I think it works. Now, I think they got the workers and they're going to have the space to make it hot. But who knows? You know what I mean? I don't think you're going to be able to just depend on certain traditional methods to make it through there. Right. But, uh... Yeah, I, I I can't conceive necessarily who's going to be in there. Uh, I think they haven't ruled out the world championship being defended at the chamber. But for what I've been reading, that won't be defended inside the chamber. I don't know if they're going to take the IC belt in there or if they're going to take the, the trans, you know, the uh, transaction drill in there. I mean, it's, it's pretty tough. Yeah, I'm not... Um... I just, I don't know. Like, it's... <laughs> I have to ask the same question. Who's going to exactly be involved in the chamber? Like, what titles are they going to have on the line? Are they going to have a somewhat rematch of what's going on at Payback, plus adding a couple? You know, I mean, how is this going to play out? That's my question. I, I That's the biggest question I had when I heard... They would have an elimination chamber in there. I was like, but so what? You're going to take everybody to say that. And then some plus some and then like throw everybody into matches uh, at this pay-per-view once again. Like, what's really about to happen? <laughs> I, I, I have to wonder. I do. I don't know. Um, we'll see how it all shakes out, though, end of the month. Uh, I think what they try to do personally, hey, hopefully people buy in in the last week, and then when June first come, they forget to cancel their membership. Quick come up, right? right. I think that's the only thing that could, this, this makes this plausible. Um, right now we're gonna jump into our break. We'll be back, and on the back end, we'll do news, we'll do birthdays, and we will close it out with the preview of the payback pay per view. So, you know, chill out. Take a rest, eat a cookie, I don't know, we'll be back. back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a taste of it a little earlier on here on Saturday night's main event, when the madness met the mania. I am talking about macho madness and Hulkamania, two mega powers beating here tonight. Hulk Hogan, what is happening? Well, you know me, Gene, we really don't know what we're dealing with here, man. And I'm just kind of a little worried about walking up here. So because right. we just might blow the whole planet up, you know. Everybody knows that Hulkamania is the strongest force in this universe. But when I hit that ring and I saw what the madness was all about, I realized there was a whole other universe out there, a whole other frontier, and the power of the madness and the mania just blew my 24 inch guns out. Man. You mean to tell me there is another solar system, Macho oh, Man? Unbelievable. Oh, I'm still in a state of shock right now. In fact, I don't think the movie coming down for a long, long period of time. Man. Yeah, reckless abandon is what it used to be. Yeah. This is the book of the lines and the big man, the big man, the big man, yeah. He endorsed Macho Man this and he gave me direction, yeah. This is the book of the use of the direction now with the mega, yeah, the mega, yeah, the mega power, yeah. Mega power, yeah. I feel the power now. I feel the power right there. Yeah, yeah. Like the hit over the head, Macho Man. Oh, oh, man, I'm all right. 
It's there's never been better yet. Don't you worry about the hit over the head, man. I'm just worried about where we're going from here. Is it this stratosphere, man? Is it the ionosphere with the madness and the mania as one guiding force? We could go ahead and take the whole I cannot believe this. The whole thing is happening here on Wednesday night's beta event. The mega powers, the madness, Macho Man Randy Savage, and the heavyweight champion and Hulkamania. As we return from break, we get involved in what we call birthdays. Birthdays go around the wrestling world. Um, the night we record is recorded on Wednesday. You probably hear this late Wednesday or early Thursday. If you hear early Thursday, no, Jimmy Wang Yang uh, had a birthday today on May 13th. Uh, but let me get you this tomorrow when you hear this show. May 14th is loaded, Keith. Zack Ryder, Mr. Woo Woo Woo, celebrates the birthday. <laughs> awesome. Zack Ryder turns 30. My man Veda, it's Veda time. We'll be turning 60. <clears throat> Tomorrow, May 14th. Veda time. Love Veda. I think he's one of the most underrated big men that's ever done the business. Like, Vader is getting up there doing mood talks at 400 pounds. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I quit. Exactly. You just not go, let me lay there and just dab on me and do tricks in the air with 400 pounds. Right. I'm not having it. But, you know, shout out to him. Good guy. Um, Dr. Death, the late Dr. Death, Steve Williams, going to be celebrating the birthday tomorrow. Um... Friday, May 15th, Keish. Uh, Farouk, a.k.a. Ron Simmons, will be celebrating the birthday. All-American Florida State University. Uh, one of the few players that have his number retired. Big deal. Uh, May 15th, Kevin Von Eric, the last of the living Von Erics. Last of the Von Eric brothers out here in these streets. So, that's happening. Um uh, mm-hmm. Let's get this news. Anything part? Anything you want to add? Anything you want to do? You know what I'm saying? To drop in here, feel free. I take uh, that silence. No. Oh, okay. Oh, you got something. Yeah. Okay. It's mm mm. That's enough. It's mm mm. I'm good. Man, me, me. Throw some mouth. Throw some mouth. You see? Mm mm. I want to deal with you. <laughs> exactly. Why I'm deal with you right there. Oh. Is it bad I blocked my job on Twitter? What? That, uh, no. That is not bad. I don't understand why you didn't follow you in the sister. <laughs> oh, I, they, they weren't following me, and I didn't, like, encourage them to follow me, but I thought about, just in case they, like, look something up, uh, right. let me block them on Twitter. No, it's not so bad. Hey, that I say. you have the freedom to let whoever follow you follow you on Twitter. Uh... Personally, I wouldn't want my job following me on there either. Come on, man. Ugh. Hey, I'm thinking about deleting some of my colors about Facebook. Like, playing with like that. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I just want to be like, nope. I want no parts of this. Exactly. No way. Like, they was with a promoted ad or something. Like, they paid for the ad space. I'm like, ah, uh, click. Okay. Nope. <laughs> nope. He's like, yeah, you don't need to be following me. But, hey, I support it. I'm sorry. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I would do the same thing. Right. He's like, yeah, you don't need to be. You don't need to follow me. I don't need you to do this. You don't need to know my business. Yeah, I, I just I just felt like it was very imperative that I blocked it when I saw this one. I'm like... <laughs> What? And it's not so much of I don't want them to. I I don't want them to follow me, and I don't want them seeing what I'm tweeting. So right. even without following me, you can still see things sometimes, or if something trims, or something bucks up. I don't know. I don't want them to go back and be like, "Do you know the music he was listening to?" Yeah, no. 
<laughs> no, because then, yeah. then they do some crazy stuff. Like, like somebody that's actually running be like, oh, well, you know, hey, how about we listen to the show? And then, no, I'm not going to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, let's go into news. Uh, Ring of Honor got a new TV deal that they hash it out. They will be on the NESN, which is the New England Sports Network. Um, Comcast subscribers like me won't get it. I think it's only going to people who got like Time Water uh, and the AT&T and then the satellite providers. Okay. If you got it straight up, you're probably not watching it. You know what I mean? Because that's about it for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But that's their... Um, hopefully they will take that expansion and go and blow up with it. I don't know if they're going to be, you know, still working. I don't know. We'll see how that works out. But, uh, I was watching here. Uh, TNA will host their first ever three-hour impact show on the 22nd, which will be oh, next man. Friday. Three hours on Destination America. It's going to where the highlights of the show goes be Kurt Angle versus the X Division champion. I don't know if they've started doing all the ads and promos for it yet. But yeah, right. on, on the 22nd, they're going three hours live with TNA. Okay, see, Two I'm days after to NXT. Uh, a whole week. You know what I'm saying? Off before, you know, you face anything serious, right? Right. So, yeah, that's happening. So, uh, also, Roman Reigns debunked CM Punk's theory that he helped create the Shield. Roman said, "Really, just the three, them three working hard to climb up the chatter. And, you know, they want to know each other and want to be tight. That's what it was. Right. But yeah, you know, so, so that of course. that's the thing. Yeah. Uh, do do do. <laughs> you got the news. Oh. See, yeah, I think my brother's been drinking. That's what I think. I need to keep him sipping. Keep you and all this sipping. That's what I want to know." No. No, he done had a little too many. <laughs> he had one too many. But he yeah, I think that's it. It was a very short news segment. Not a lot of news to go through. Not a lot happening out there in those streets. No, not really. And you know what's crazy? Is that we're going to wake up tomorrow and something big is going to happen. I'm going to be so mad. I swear I will be. And then we got to wait the next week to talk about it. Come on, man. Yeah, no, I think they're going to exist by within the time frame that you give it. I think they're going to exist by. Exactly. I'm not worried about it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. Uh, <laughs> so, we, we got payback. If you want to pay somebody back, this is the show to do it. Get that brick, go through the car window system. Yeah. Please, Jesus. Y'all, don't. Okay, it's a pay for you. Uh, don't be out there acting out. I, no, please don't. Uh, yes, pay back. No, Jesus. It doesn't mean that you really need to be out there uh, executing your revenge tactics. Uh, no, can we not? I'm going to need y'all to calm down. So, some of y'all are a little too late. Understand being a fan, but you got a line somewhere. I'm going to need y'all to chill out. Right, right. Um, but okay, we are at the payback pay per view. Um, hidden gem this weekend. This week, did we do match of the week last week? Yes. Okay. So, match of the week this week. Um, not even match of the week. I, I want to call it because match of the week would be the one I watched from actual uh, TV pot. Right, right. Right. This is more of a throwback Thursday. Um. Uh, Last year's payback uh, will be the subject. John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. Keith, yeah. that match was good. It was. And physical. Who was physical? It was awesome. Yeah. It was good. every level awesome. Yeah, I, I appreciated it. I uh, watched it last week. I was like, you know, they've been replaying the pay-per-view. Right. Good job. Bravo. Hats off. Pat him on the back. Good job. Definitely dig it. So... That's happened. Um, well, basically, it's been around a couple of years, and now we're doing it again. Uh, these are the matches that I got so far on tap, but I'm sure more or two will be added, right? Right. But 
the Ascension is gonna take down Sandow and Axel in the opening bell. Pre show. Uh of course. I mean, come on man. We already know the outcome of this match and what's gonna happen. So I I think it's gonna be nutty and I think Sandow and Axel will. I it, I it could be wrong that they're trying to build the Ascension, but I think they somebody gotta know that hey, this ain't working out and we got to figure out something else. Yeah, they have to. I mean, if they didn't realize that by now, they're gonna realize it after this. You know, I right. mean, come on, man. It's only so much you can do. It's only, only so, so much you can do. Only so much you can. Do. <laughs> See, that's exactly what I mean. Only right so much <laughs> you can do. Don't tell me you, you ain't been sick. Whatever, I don't hear all that. Hey man, I'm it's hot in here. here. I don't know. I'm just trying to keep it, keep it kosher. <laughs> keep it kosher. You know it's kind of funny too when people say that too. You be like, yo, I'm gonna keep it kosher. So are you gonna separate the meats from the vegetables? I mean, how do you keep it kosher? Yeah, you know I'm saying, like, I don't think that's how that word is used. And you apply it to some slang thing. And I, I don't you, think it's working out. you would say something like that. <laughs> I would need you not to be doing it. Please and thank you, Keith. I would need you to say something like that. My brother has no sense. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> Sheamus uh, has a match with Dolph Ziggler. I think this is going to be the who's moving up the ladder. I guess everybody got to have a bit card for you before they go up to the main stage. It's t- right. working on out. So, this one here, uh, Sheamus versus Dolph. People who've been on the main stage and just kind of couldn't hold it together. Uh, right. Okay. That's pretty much the case. Uh, okay. eh, Sheamus and Dolph. Yeah, yeah. I guess. You know, hey, I think Dolph will win again. That If that makes anything. I. I think you take out Seamus again. So, right. at least it won't be a kiss my house match. Ugh, awful. That was just stupid. I'm sorry. I I know I'm backtracking there. That was just stupid. Mm-hmm. Uh, just let it be a match and get it over with. Right. So. I'm going to say that um, Dolph beats Seamus. Nice. I think Dolph beats Seamus because there's no rhyme or reason to it. Right. Like they're having a Helter Skelter match anyway. And there's no way of logic how we got here. Dolph, Dolph, so. Dolph, Dolph. I think I'm going to walk into that song one day. I'm glad it finally worked when I'm walking in. And I'm going to leave the leaves. And I'm like, what? Are you, are you playing a wrestling theme music? Uh, yeah. It's awesome. I want theme music. I would like to go in a room and like, when I hit that, you know how you open the door? Right. And then it's like, or even before I get to the door, like they start playing it early, then I get to the door, then it stops, and then it's like, and I'm just there, and I'm looking around, and I shake my head and nod in approval and keep it moving. Exactly. You don't even Why not? You just walking right past them. Yeah, have fun. Right. You'll be looking like, oh, you're not going to say something? No. I. Music. Hello. Go on now. <laughs> don't interrupt yeah. my music. That's all you can do. Hey, don't interrupt my theme music. Shut up. <laughs> Yo, some of Let me quit. Okay. Anyway, let's get back to the wrestling. King Wade Barrett takes on Neville. Similar oh, situation as a prior match, right? Right. Just that Wade Barrett's a king. And he's already lost to Neville. But I think he wins this round. Yeah. I think so. I think he beats Neville. I do think he beats Neville, but oh my God, it's going to be an incredible match. <laughs> I do. I think this match is going to be greatness. I I want to... You know what? I'm tempted. I, I will say, I think this is going to be my match of the night. I do. I really think this, this match is going to be my match of the night. <laughs> so... We'll have to see when the pay per comes on, but I'm calling it. This is what I'm going. That's going to be my match of the night, right there. 
team there and no. Yes. Yes, yes, even more yes. I'm with it. But yes. King Bear is gonna go over all level uh for this one. And it might not be the end though. I don't think it's gonna be the end. I think they might have one more match after this. It may not be the end. But I definitely think so. Barrett goes over. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh. <coughs> Bless you. Yeah. They had to pause for that one. People think my oh. sneezes sound like coughs. I'm like, <laughs> it's because you sneeze. Sometimes I sneeze and then I try to hold it. And, and I, you know, you close your mouth and it just, it sounds like a cough. And I'm like, and people are confused. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. Like, bless you? Uh... Right. Yes. And I'm like, yes. But thank you. Um, yeah. So. Because, you know, I hate when people sneeze and they don't cover their mouth. And they sneeze all out of the air. Ugh, that's so disgusting. Don't do that around me. Like, I can't, I can't deal with it. I'm, I'm liable to might hit you in the throat. Like, I just, ugh. Don't do that around me. <coughs> you should wear the throat <laughs> Look. Okay. Um. Next match. John Cena versus Rusev. United States title. I quit match. Who's your winner and why? Okay. Has Cena ever really lost an I quit match? Come on, man. Seriously? No. And John Cena's never going to quit. So. Like, he's never going to quit. Never. Even against the big bad Russian bear. He's going to quit. What I will say. I give them credit. For continuing on with this feud. He has wrestled Rusev at the last four pay-per-views. That means four months they have stuck with and booked it and kept this thing alive. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And like I said, so, I, I like the way it's going, but um, see this wins this I quit match. Because I, like I said, I think he loses his title in one of the open challenges. Probably right. not the next week or two, but down the line, by the end of August or something like that, he'll drop that belt in an open challenge. But right now, he's not losing his he's, match. He's not quitting. Like, I'm he, sorry. He's not going to quit. Come on, man. It's Cena we're talking about. He's never quit. Like, he's never lost oh, no, quit this. He's never quit. He's not going to quit now. I don't care what yeah. happens during this match. I mean, his mantra quit. is, I worked hard for you. I did it for you, the fans, and he not give it up, right? Right. So exactly. that's uh next day. New day sucks. New day sucks. Oh, sorry. Oh my god. Uh hey man, that's what they said at the arena. Exactly. Uh apparently New Day just ah uh, they probably started getting some you know, heat. And I think that was a part that was an impediment because they, you know, were staying there and I think uh, people generally dislike them now. Right. And I think yeah. it's only getting better. It's only getting better. So, kind of crazy, Tyson and Cesaro have a babyface appeal about. And especially with Tyson's high flyer. But... Right. But his high flying yeah. is awesome, though. So, I, I yeah. don't know. Like, you know what? I think that it goes back and forth. <coughs> so, um, I really think it goes back and forth. And I really think that uh, Tyson and Cesaro will take the titles again. I I, I look for them to win this match for the pay per view. Yeah. So I'm I'm saying Tyson Cesaro over the New Day. So because if the New Day win, of course, is going to be with some cheating tactics. This they're not going over clean. That ain't happening. Because that's not that's not pretty much that's not what's going on. At this point. Like, hey. And then, yeah, they do kind of suck. <laughs> they do kind of suck, so. Right, right. Oh, uh, random input. At, well, you know what? I'll, I'll throw that in after, after the preview. We'll, we'll do that after the preview. Can't have random. Well, we've had enough random stuff during the preview, so yeah. Hey. Let's continue, shall we? <laughs> Yeah, I think I got a little weird quick. Um, <laughs> oh, I I think the New Day keeps the belts. I don't like it, but I think they keep the belts. <laughs> but that's another we... time for the day. But yeah, I think they keep the belts. True. So. Ah, true. But hey, 
Well, yeah. that's fine. You already work your law with weed, too. Yeah, but. eventually you know it's going to happen. <laughs> eventually. I don't know, yeah, there's never a baby you ever like, yeah. We agree on everything. Like, it just doesn't happen. Hey, that's why you have a piece. Everybody does what they do. It is what it is. So. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Wait, that's the only. That's the last match before the main event, right? Oh, man. Yeah. Let me throw another match in here. So, main event. Seth Rollins defends his title now in a fatal four way with Roman, Orton, and Ambrose. With Kane outside a special force or whatever he's going to be. Right. Whatever role he's going to play in this. Keish. Everybody playing hot potato with the belt, and they can do that because it's not theirs. Is Brock Lesnar's, and he'll be back for his his title, and his his belt, right in August in SummerSlam. Exactly. And we all I think know that's one of the reasons why. Right. That's, so that's Rollins hasn't lost, and is not going to lose the title between now and then. Right. I, I think hey. they built him up. And he's going to have the name that's going to be able to counteract. Especially if, uh, you know, Bobby is in his baby face mode. Right. So. Yeah, you know. <laughs> all you hear when he's to pull out is the coo Anyway. <laughs> so. As many as there is as in this match, Seth is not going to lose. I don't know how. I don't know how it's going to play out. And I don't know if he's going to win clean or if there's going to be some tactics in there or whatever the case may be. Just walking out of payback with the title. Period. The end. Like, that's it. There's nothing else to the story. He's going to have his title. You're right. He's going to have his title until Brock comes back and pretty much keeps his throat in and takes it back. But that's pretty much what's going to happen. Because they're going to have this, this rematch. They're going to have this match happen again between they don't have this match happen between Seth and Brock that's what's going to happen really? that is, that's exactly what's going to happen so we're I'm not holding my breath and being like oh my god I mean I think it might be wrong and I'm not even going to sit here and tell these lies okay like right. it's going to be Seth Seth I don't care how hook or crook clean whatever he's going to keep this title and that's yeah. going to be the end of it. Like, <coughs> no, bottom it. line, that's 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 where everybody's going to, have to report. Period. Point blank. No. Right. No more discussion about that. Um, I think the other guys are going to cost each other. Yeah. As soon as yeah. somebody gets yeah. get pinned, somebody gets snatched. Right. They're going to cost each other. Yeah. And I mean, granted, they're going to be up on stage, but at the same time, they're going to be at each other's throats because nobody's going to be on the same team. Like, yeah. it's not Actually, I think Rollins goes home early. So it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, granted, I think it's going to make for a good match considering there's a fatal four way. Um, and it, it fatal four ways to me always have an interest, interesting dynamic because there's four of them, but they're all against each other. You know, it's not <coughs> like a. It's not a tag team match or a tornado tag team or nothing like that. It's just, just they, their what? hate for the champ is going to be their impediment because they're all trying to get to him and they can't do that. Right. And then, and then they turn on each other because, of course, it's every man for himself. And they all want the same thing. So they all can't stand him, but they're also in it for that gold. So it's it gets crazy. It's gonna get ridiculous, but I can't wait to see it. I can't. Arden and his RKO's and Roman and his fingers and Dean and the dirty deeds. Did they change Seth's finisher? Cause yep. I don't. Yeah. Uh, what are they calling that? Does it have a name? Or is it just it? Like. <laughs> Because, you know, that's what happens sometimes. Like, they change it, but they don't have a name for it. It's like, did y'all not come up with a name for this before y'all changed it? I don't know. 
I guess I hate a little bit too much attention and stuff, but yeah. I noticed. So. But yeah, he's going over. It's a wrap. Seth with the title, at the end of the day, they, nobody else can tell me different. Sorry, not happening. So, I know what people might want, but of course, we all can't get what we want. So, yeah. Ain't happening. Mm. Yay! And that's payback, people. Right. You think they're going to throw a deal match in this? They got to. I mean, that's 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 a given. Uh, I think it'll be Naomi versus uh, Nikki Bella. But yeah, they got to. I think that's right. just... They've destroyed it over at World Cup. I think they got to. What do you think of Tamina? Go, go, Tamina. I'm supporting this. I think she's awesome, man. She looks good. She looks good. So, hey, that's... That's just me. I think to me it looks awesome. I, I don't know about the hair, but I think she looks great. So, but I know that they try to hide her. Well, you can't really hide it. Because, of course, I can notice the knee brace around her knee when she wrestles. But, I don't know. I guess that's just me. So, but yeah. Glad to see her back. Glad she's made a turn and... Her and Naomi, I think, are work great together as a team. Right. So, yeah, it's interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I think there, there's more to it, but we'll see how it all shakes out. Of um, we'll be back between now and next Wednesday because we might do an NXT preview um, and just flood the market. We'll read exactly. Wrestling dot com. That's the website. It has everything and anything that has to do with Ring Time Pro Wrestling. Um, check us out. Stitcher Radio, TuneIn Radio, iTunes, uh, whatever your podcast medium is, you can get us and we will be on it. So, with that, Keish, that's the pay-per-view. Like I said, Steph Wiles will leave as a champ. Right. And we'll see what happens after that. Hey, just to let everybody know, the Hawks won tonight. One point. One point. 80, 81, they're up 3-2. I just thought I Game that. 5. Gotta have Game 5. I will have of the course. final cover of Game 6. But, uh, game five. with that, I'm gonna wrap it up. All and right. I'll holler at you when it's time to do another show. Cool. Peace. Bye, y'all. Talk to you later.